My name is Cynthia and I'm going to talk about calflora.org observation search. There are millions of observations within the CalFlora database and this is one way to filter what it is that you want to see. You can specify a specific area on the map. You can start typing a specific species that you're interested in with the type ahead, scientific name or common name, also native status. Under layers and region, there's protected areas that show up in pastel on the map, watersheds, quadrangles, jeps, and regions. I'm going to pick a protected area, Mount Diablo. Click on it. Mount Diablo State Park shows up after you click on it. In that selected area, what are the native plants that have been, been found since the start of 2019? Search 87 records. Let's fold up the map and have a better look at them. You can sort the results by plant name, by observer. You can add more attributes. Let's add latitude and longitude. Let's sort by those now. And under tools, Help will give you more information about observation search. This is our data dictionary. What grows here tells you the species that grow at this location, not necessarily the individual observations. The advanced form gives you more query fields. So you have county, phenology. If you're in a group, you can look at your group's observations here. You can specify a plant list, location quality, and you can also save your search Mount Diablo Natives after 2019 and then use that to set up an email alert so you'll be notified when more native plants are entered into the CalFlora database and or you can load these historical records onto Observer Pro Data Collection phone app. If you have questions, copy this hyperlink, go back to the CalFlora homepage send us an email and paste that link into your email so we can see exactly what you're seeing and answer your observation search questions. Thank you.